One of your fiercest critics, Mr. President, is actually a former aide of yours, a general who's currently in South Africa, General Fustin uh, Nyamwasa, who claims, in fact, that as a result of the narrowing of democratic space, he's had to leave the country, Mr. President. Oh, the, the, the general, the general should not have had a role in the first place in voicing such a democratic credentials because his role was somewhere else, was in the barracks, if you will. And here he chose uh, for different reasons. And here you have to make a choice. Either you believe him or you believe us, meaning you believe the people of Rwanda. Now, I, I also don't appreciate this fact that if somebody runs out of this country and uh, cries foul, then it is that person right and not the country and the institutions and the leaders of Rwanda. Where does it come from that whoever runs the country, suppose somebody runs out of the country after stealing, after killing, after different malpractices, why does it make him right just because he has run out of the country? This general, what this general, this for, general, first uh, of all, is a dishonest man. What accounts for his decision to take this drastic decision to basically leave I mean, everything how, in the How can I be held accountable for the choices of somebody like that general who just decides to run out? Indeed. I, I, I'm not the one to answer that. He Does it affect you at a personal level, Mr. President, given the. Inherently, part of the serious struggle that people were waging. And we are just in it. And when it comes to a different situation, where institutions are built, where country is built, where you know there is this development, people take advantage of all these happenings and maybe isolate themselves from the mainstream, from the continued struggle for the development of the country, and start looking at themselves and for their selfish interests, people like General Yamasa start acting the way he acted. And uh, Patrick Harijaya, whom he found also in South Africa, uh, simply acted in the same way. But I think to zero it to the real point, these individuals are selfish people, are dishonest, are people who could not uphold accountability that we seek to see in the process of our development and democratization and social and economic transformation.